do you think Troy Weaver is trying to build his version of the Oklahoma City Thunder big three in Detroit? Um, do I think he's trying to replicate the big three that he had in Oklahoma City? Man, that that's a tough question because all three of them are former MVPs. Well, I'm not saying is he trying to build the exact big three. Is he just trying to build his version of it? Like, I've been looking at this like you got one of the similarities in Ivy. The, we'll just admit it. He's kind of like Russell Westbrook in the athletic guard mold. Mm -hmm. You know, can do a little bit of everything. I thought Cade Cunningham, when he was originally drafted, was supposed to be like the Kevin Durant type. You know what I'm thinking? Like, but then I thought about it. I'm like, Kevin Durant, he's a generational type player. You don't see very many seven footers being able to handle the ball and do what he can do. It's yeah. just, it's very rare. And then I thought, well, Cade Cunningham, he's more like the James Harden type. You know, you see some similarities there. And then I started, then once I read this article, I started thinking about it where I'm like, well, Victor Wynn and Banya, he really is a generational talent. And he would kind of complete that big three thing where you have that generational player, you have the Harden type, and then you have the Russ type. So maybe he is. And I, I think he is. I think he's trying to build his own version of the big three in Detroit. And he would very much welcome Victor Wenambanya. And maybe he is trying to tank for him for all we know. Maybe that is his whole goal at the end of all of this. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think if you look at it that way, yeah, you, you definitely could say, well, uh, Victor is like KD. I mean, we've seen the KD comps already. Um, I, I think he's just, uh, I remember explaining it to uh, a friend saying like, he's like KD and Rudy Gobert if they had a kid. Yeah. Like that, you, you would get Victor W. Um, I think that's a very interesting um, analysis. Uh, back to your question. I think Troy Weaver is, I don't want to say he's trying to do the same thing, but he's trying to implement the same things that worked for uh, him and Sam Presti and OKC, where, you know, they weren't a really good basketball team, but they were getting lottery picks and they were building around the draft picks. I think that's what Troy's doing. Now, if you want to say Jaden Ivey's like Russell Westbrook, okay, sure. You want to say Kate Cunningham's like Harden? Uh, okay. If you want to say uh, Victor... Could be a coming draft. Okay, I can see where you're coming. I mean, we have people in the comment section saying Dern's a Baca. Like <laughs> that's what I had said. That's what I had said. And that's what I was thinking about. But this is what the other part of that I was thinking. Like, we know how Sam Presti, how it ended in Oklahoma City. Like, he didn't even have a second conversation with James Harden about the contract. He saw the number and just said, You're out the door. I there's a part of me that thinks that like Troy Weaver was like, dude, if I was leading the Oklahoma City Thunder. That would have never happened. We would have seen the evolution of Russ, Harden, and KD together in Oklahoma City if I was in charge. If I was in Troy's position when I was in Oklahoma City and I saw all three of those players and I saw the mistakes Sam Presti made, you bet your ass I would love to have the opportunity to be in that exact same scenario and show you this is how it was supposed to be done. This is how you could have kept it going. I think that Troy, there's a part of Troy Weaver that's like, Dude, we had it in Oklahoma City. Sam Presti fucked it up. I'm going to show you guys how it was supposed to be done. And that's kind of the vibe I get from Troy Weaver, that he's trying to replicate Oklahoma City in Detroit and just show them, really, this is how it was supposed to be built, and this is how it was supposed to be done. This is how you keep these guys together. That's what I think he's doing. Yeah, I mean, he, he really hasn't had cap space to play with either. This was like the, the first year where he actually had real cap space to play with. And he used the cap space to get Jalen Duran. Um, I, I think there's a lot of players on this roster, whether it's the Isaiah Stewarts, uh, the role players like Isaiah Livers, uh, trading for Hamadou Diallo. I, I think he's trying to implement um, athleticism, skilled players, uh, niche players. I, I think he's just trying to get this basketball team to where they're competitive again. And I, I think... After this season, uh, the Pistons really want to go all in. They want to go all in on winning. They really want to uh, make a push for the playoffs because this would be uh, going into year four or year three, rather, of just rebuilding and uh, collecting talent. Like, they, they have a lot of draft picks um, throughout the last couple of seasons. I mean, I, I think if you're lucky enough to get a victor, you're lucky enough to get a Scoot Henderson, you're lucky enough to get a, an Amin Thompson, um, 
I think you're, you're going to be in a very good position if you're Detroit. 